50 years ago, Loretta Lynn made her country music debut with I'm a Honky Tonk Girl, and now she's being honored by the Recording Academy with a star studded tribute here in Nashville. Well, I was born to call miner's daughter in a cabin on a hill in Butcher Holler. I think it's just everyday living. I mean, uh, I had to live my songs to write them, and I think it, I think it's everyday living. I think everybody probably lives the same way. Well, the legacy that she she is placing in front of us, and the legacy she'll leave behind when when she is gone, and uh, hope another hundred years, um, is the fact that she was sincere. She's real. You're not going to see many more, if any more, that sincere as real as this woman, and she stayed that way through 50 years of being the queen of country music. If you're a female singer-songwriter in country music, I think she's the she's the epitome of, of, of what a what a female is, a role model, leader, pioneer is supposed to be in this in this industry. She's a she's the reason why a lot of us are doing what we do and aren't afraid to do it. It's amazing because you know there's just a you can see there's just a few handful of us that, that were actually asked to be here and to be a part of this, and so I'm I'm really honored. I'm amazed that uh, that I was one of the people that they thought of. I think it's a testament to her that she's never tried to be anything other than country music, but yet she has spilled over into so many other formats of Sheryl Crow, of Kid Rock, and them showing that respect, my hat's off to them too, because they recognize they recognize a star has no borders. Stay at home and I'll be true to you, honey, while you're gone, if you're not gone too long. There's no doubt Loretta Lynn has made her mark on country music. Date Night with Garth Brooks isn't too shabby. Caitlin King, The Associated Press, Nashville.